Alright, this is a quick video just of my setup. This is a uh, Hover Things H HTFPV frame. Uh, this is probably my fourth configuration. Uh, I got old parts on a on something that I was putting together. Didn't really like that frame setup. Um, seemed like there was some sort of harmonic problem with balancing. It just kind of you know shook a little bit too much. Maybe the arms are too long, or this never got the bugs worked out. I'll go back to that some other time. But uh, uh, this has been my best setup, and uh, using old 450 um, landing gear. And then I put some lights on it, and uh, just recently plugged on an OSD, which I haven't really taken on a, a real good maiden flight yet. But uh, in the backyard, it works pretty good. And uh, um, I broke the uh, NASA GPS thing so many times that I went to um, a helicopter um, um, prop. What are you call them? I can't think of it. Anyway. So I've, I stuck that on there and that put it in the back with the tail. That really does seem to lock in real quick, 20-30 seconds and don't have any problems in flights. So always seem to have a green light. Um, but uh, it also gives me an orientation a little better um, for when I'm flying pretty high. has a pretty wicked tail. This is actually from the landing gear kit from Hover Things and that's carbon fiber there. Which carbon fiber is probably not going to be the best thing for uh, um, trying to get rid of radio frequency issues, but uh, seems to work really well. Um, these are DJI motors, 920s, and uh, they kind of come with the kits if you buy a kit. I didn't buy a kit, I just kind of bought everything separate. And uh, uh, Flying Rookie from Hover Things had a similar setup. Um, when I first started out, so I just kind of copied his motor and uh, his DJI NASA and stuff. Now he did switch over to other motors, and uh, I think he uses something quite different now. But um, this is still working for me, so I'm still using it. Um, I do have a so a board in there, and I don't know. This just kind of grew into this. Um, I haven't decided if my uh, this is a good place for this. Now I think it's going to get a nice little breeze but also the clearance is questionable. Now when it flies if it has any flex it'll flex up but if it wrecks and this comes down it'll hit that pretty hard so it's probably not my final final place that's where that's going to be but I did take it out and flew it and flew it pretty high and it did uh, did very well in that condition I like pointing the antenna down since I'm going to be down it's going to be better to be like that uh, just kind of power it up real quick and show you it's a little sloppy but I uh arrange the battery underneath the landing gear uh, so that if I use different size batteries, the 22's or the 5000, I like the 3300's uh, the best, but um, the longer, heavier batteries, they change the uh, the CG too much uh, so I, I've now moved the battery so it runs sideways on the craft. Let me see if I can put one in here No Velcro straps, just this uh, bungee cord here, and this is the separate power that goes to the to the uh, transmitter, and then I'll hook up everything else. Hold on a second.
so my trans my transmitter is not on. And that's what it does, it flashes when the transmitter's not on. So some night lights. And then we got the Eagle, Eagle Tree OSD. And then Eagle Tree OSD GPS for return to home functions. Which, I don't use it for the return to home function, but I do use it for the arrow to see where home is. I don't see anybody using... Um, this portion here hooked up to the NASA uh, for return to home. Um, if anybody ever does that, I would love to see that. But... We got the So anyway, that's the setup, the GoPro strapped on. I usually don't have any problem with uh, Jello or anything. I don't believe this frame. I don't use anything but just Velcro. And I just strap it down. Um, these props here are made by DJI. They're 10 inch, 4 and a half. And um, the thing about DJI motors is they, they're kind of grooved. And the, you can't really use other props. Now I have used other props before, but um, there's no guarantee you're going to get them centered perfectly. So I, these are actually pretty good props. They're fairly stiff. So that's my setup. Nope, not much else to it. I use a. Uh, where's my? Futaba. And it's kind of old technology, but uh, it works. The only thing that doesn't work well is the uh, these transmitters. I'm sorry, the receivers for the Futaba. They don't have fail safe in them, and so it just keeps the last input that you used rather than going into fail safe mode. So if I turn it off now. It shouldn't go into fail safe mode. So the no fail safe. So the return home functions do work, but I have all those set up on the on the switches. So this is my my fail safe here. And then I got my IOC. And manual GPS. IOC off and on course correction. So that's pretty much it.